Despite the almost certain sounding rhetoric you might be hearing about a U.S. military strike on Syria, now might be a good time to consider a nuanced distinction. They want to hit Assad hard enough to send him a message. But the last thing they want to do is topple the Assad regime and leave this power vacuum there in Syria. That was NBC chief Pentagon correspondent Jim Miklaszewski making a distinction there between striking Syria and toppling Assad. Many articles about possible intervention in Syria, like this from the Washington Post's Eugene Robinson, mention regime change seemingly as an extension of the same discussion, while others, like the Wall Street Journal's Brett Stevens, are actually calling for the targeting and killing of Syria's president. But rarely do those discussions really get into who or what would lead Syria in Assad's place if he were forcibly ousted. Which brings us back to Miklaszewski's point from earlier. Syrian opposition forces include those with allegiance to terrorist groups like al-Qaeda and al-Nusra. And critics argue pushing Assad out and ushering rebels in wouldn't be in the West's best interest either. But what is, at least according to the general consensus, is that the West take a stand against the violence in Syria. Syria. Assad is accused of a chemical weapons attack that killed hundreds, including women and children. International outrage followed the online posting of videos like this showing the aftermath of the alleged attack. Assad and the Syrian government deny responsibility in that attack, though White House officials have said it's virtually undeniable the regime is at fault. Which is why, for some, it appears the U.S. has painted itself into a corner, considering this from President Obama a year ago. We have been very clear to the Assad regime, a red line for us is we start seeing a whole bunch of chemical weapons moving around or being utilized. Uh, that would change my calculus. Earlier this week, a Russian newspaper quoted Assad as saying the U.S. would fail if it intervened in Syria and promised his country would defend itself. Thanks for watching Newsy. I'm Christina Hartman.